Hey YouTube, this is Philip Jacob. Today's review is on the BMW 530i M Sport. So straight away while checking the engine specs of the car, the car comes with a 2-litre petrol engine which produces 252 bhp and 350 newton meters of torque. It can do a 0 to 100 in just 6.1 seconds. And while checking the exterior characteristics of the car, so this is a BMW 530i M Sport. So once you have the name M Sport, you have the sporty bumpers, the alloys, the side skirts and also a sporty M steering wheel inside with sports seats. While checking the exterior characteristics, you have the adaptive LED headlamps. They have a range of 500 meters. You can do the high beam, low beam cornering and also independent switching off of LEDs for the opposite traffic. It enhances your driving characteristics at night. And you have the active Astream kidney grills. So the M Sport variant get the black accents in the inside and chrome accents outside. And again, this helps in increasing the aerodynamic efficiency of the car and helps in having the engine at its optimum temperature. The bumpers, you have bigger Adams, which give a sportier look, which also incorporates the LED uh, fog lamps. And also you have the sensors embedded in the front bumpers. And if you also notice, you have a fisheye camera which means that the 530M Sport is also equipped with a 360 degree camera. You get the electric foldable mirrors with the indicators incorporated in them and also you'll be able to notice the fisheye camera on the mirrors itself. So the driver side mirror and the interior rear view mirror has the anti-dazzle function which means that it would become sort of greenish color when there is a high beam being projected at you from behind which doesn't dazzle you. So that's an advantage for nighttime driving. On the 530i M Sport, just like the 530d M Sport, you have the M Sport alloys, which have 18 inch alloy wheels in them. You get the run flat tires as standard again. You can drive at 80 kilometers per hour speed up to 80 kilometers with zero pressure inside them. And again, these tires are mi mixed profile tires when you compare to the rear. So the front is actually you have a 245-45R18 profile tire and the rear would be a 275-45R18. What that means is that the rear tire's breadth is more than the front tires, which gives you better handling characteristics. And while checking the side profile, you'll be able to notice that the 530i M Sport has a long wheelbase and very short overhangs. So overhangs means from the point of the mid of the axle to the front tip and the same thing for the rear so because the overhangs are very less there is not much of weight being outside the axle so the handling characteristics increases and the long wheelbase gives the advantage of more cabin space and again as per aerodynamics the 530i has air curtains and air breathers also so air passes inside through this air curtain it reduces the turbulence in the wheel arches and it's again coming out from here. So this is the air breather, which again helps in increasing the handling characteristics of the car. While checking the rear of the car, so again, as per the M Sport detailing, you have the M Sport bumpers. You have a LED tail lamp with an L design on them. You have the 530i badging, you have the rear view camera just above the number plate area and the PDCs for your reversing assistance. You also get dual exhaust tailpipes which are trapezoidal in shape so they give a much more sportier look. The car comes with comfort access system so I have the key with me. All I need to do is a kick action to open the tailboat. So as you can see now the boot is open, you have ample amount of boot space with the spare wheel incorporated underneath the floor pad. So another thing what everybody asks is that while opening it is automatic but while closing you will have to do it manually. 
and you might ask what does this button do so if I press this button and if I close the boot manually it makes sure that all the doors are also locked so that is the reason why that button is used so that you need not again take your key and lock the car again so while checking the interior characteristics of the car and we would notice the lovely M Sport steering wheel which has a M badging on it you have the left hand side for the cruise control and the speed limiter and the right hand side for the media controls and for the controls for your phone you have paddle shifters so the left hand side is for the downshift and the right hand side is for the upshift you have a very chunky steering wheel so holding it is also very comfortable right now and you have the stocks on the left hand side which have the controls for your headlamps and also the onboard computer which is said as BC and the A which is mentioning for your adaptive headlight system and on the right hand side you have the controls for your windshield wipers and uh, to bring out the sprayer liquid and if you see the instrument cluster you have a fully functional digital instrument cluster on the left hand side you get the information about your speed let it be in kilometers or miles you can change them the middle you have the information about your navigation so you need not take your eyes away from this screen to the main screen to know where you're going and again on the right hand side a portion of the instrument cluster you have information on your vehicles dynamics or you can bring on the information by pressing this button to see your media and again if your phone is connected you can bring your calls the de recently dialed information everything also on them and again when you come to the left you have a beautiful touch screen system which is again incorporated with the new id7 so now the present 5 series and 6 series from id6 they have been changed to id7 which is idrive 7 which is a new operating system you have the widgets and the voice assistant also in them very user friendly and again going down you have the ac controls which you can control by using these beautiful knobs with this aluminium finishing on them going down we have a tray which you can open and you would find a wireless charging pad and again you also get a display key i'm not having it right now which i can show you so you also get the display key along with this manual key in which you can do the remote control parking also so while checking here you have the usb port you have two cup holders which again one can be used as an ashtray and a 12 volt charging point going down you have the iDrive control toggle switch with its fast dial buttons this is again a touchpad so that let's say in navigation or in telephone when you want to enter something you can have the alphabets written in them let's say in capital letters and again numbers you can write them also on this pad itself to have a space you swipe right and to delete something you just swipe left so it's very user friendly you have an electric gear shifter which is again 8 speed gearbox you have the different driving modes eco pro comfort and sport and compared to the other brands you have something called as an adaptive mode so this helps in adapting as per your driving style so if you are aggressive it automatically chooses a sport if you are very gentle it's in comfort and if you're in like traffic conditions it would switch on to eco pro all by itself you have the traction control button which again is always on your safety systems are always on only when you want to have fun you can switch it off going down you have the parking sensor button so this car is equipped with the parking assistant so it can automatically do the bay parking and parallel parking for you you can activate the camera screen by pressing this button you have the electric parking brake and an auto hold function also while opening the hand wrist you have a small space with a C port charger which again why do we give a C port charger apart from just charging mobile phones you can also charge laptops with higher frequency necessary and the dashboard in the 530i M Sport you get this beautiful aluminium finishing on them which has uh, carvings on it you get ambient lightings as standard you also get an Harman Kardon music system which has 600 watts on the whole with 16 speakers totally inside the car which has a beautiful effect inside 
You also can save music into the system. You have 32 GB of internal memory. So let's say you carry a USB, you insert it into the car, you transfer the songs uh, to the car and basically it would get collected in music collection. So whenever you want to listen to music, you just go to music collection and listen to them. And it's also equipped with wireless Apple CarPlay. So you need not carry a wire, which is available only in the BMW segment of cars. You also get the gesture control. So do the up, you can do the down, you can change the stations, you can answer the call, you can disconnect a call. So the gesture controls are also available. The 360 degree view, again, if I press this, I get the view over here. And if I put to 3D view, I'm sorry, if I put to 3D view, once I use the pinch function, I'll be able to see around the car. So this is again how effective this looks at. So you are more confident and the image stitched is so clear that you have all the information shown on the car screen itself. And so right now we are seated at the rear of the BMW 530i M Sport and you can see that the ambient lights run to the rear doors also and this interior is called as cognac and the leather use is called as dakota on the center console you'll be able to notice there are no ac controls because the 530i m sport is a two zone ac and you also get a 12 volt charging socket with two c port charging options in them and you get two trays which can be used for you to keep your mobile phones or anything as such you have the hand wrist which again you can open which shows two cup holders for you the mirrors also have the manual sun blinders so this helps in giving you the privacy inside and also the rear windshield also have them this 530i being an m sport variant gets the anthra side roof lining so you get a black roof lining again and also a sunroof so this is a normal sunroof which is not panoramic and that's it about the 530i M Sport. So this 530i M Sport is a new variant which they have just launched. The thing is that in the 530i, that is a petrol variant, you also get a Sport variant. And this is the 530i M Sport variant, which you will get all the bells and whistles, more features in them. The Sport would be a lower variant of which I'll be taking a video soon. So that's it about the 530i M Sport. I'll see you guys in another video with another car. Thank you for your support. Please do like, share and subscribe. Thank you.